How's it going, everybody? I just got in the Home Assistant Blue, which is Home Assistant's new Odroid N2 Plus with 4 gigabytes of RAM and a fast 120 gigabyte EMMC. It's an all-in-one case, power, and the core of Home Assistant, all-in-one package, and I got it for only $140. Check out the rest of the video to see how easy it was to get set up. All right, everyone. So we got in the Home Assistant Blue, um, which was announced at the Home Assistant Conference on December 13th. If you didn't see that, you can view it on their YouTube. I'll put a link in the description below. Um, if you want to check that out, but it kind of goes over uh, the the story of the the new Home Assistant Blue. Um, but basically, it is a way so that you can just buy Home Assistant Blue, plug in your Ethernet, plug in the power cable, boot it up, go to a certain URL or an app on your phone, and you automatically have Home Assistant set up. All you have to do is go through the onboarding, and you're ready to go. For me. Um, I already had a Home Assistant set up. Um, you can kind of see that here. But basically what I was wanting to do is convert this computer into something a lot smaller and a lot cleaner. And that's where this came along. So you'll see that this is a lot cleaner, a lot smaller. It doesn't take up an, uh, you know that much room, just as powerful and exactly what I need for my Home Assistant setup. Let's go ahead and get into the unboxing. Yeah, so what you're seeing is opening up the Home Assistant, kind of seeing it, um, you'll see that it's a uh, you know flashy. It's it the, the metal is super nice. It's all aluminum. Uh, feels super nice. Uh, the, the the reflective aluminum is super clean. Now what we're going through is kind of the setup of getting my home assistant set, current set home assistant setup ready to go. So what I did was I went and took a snapshot, a full snapshot of my current home assistant setup. And you'll see that here, I created it, took a little bit of time, then I was ready to go. So next I set up the actual Home Assistant Blue. What I did was take the Home Assistant Blue, plug it in, plug the ethernet in, and then plug the power cable in. And then I just kind of left it alone. What it did was it went through um, and started connecting to my internet. And what I did after that was go to homeassistant.local colon 8123. Once I did that, I loaded up and it presented me with the create user screen. But down at the bottom, you'll see that there was a start from snapshot option. So what I did was click that option, open it up, open up my snapshot that I just took, which I downloaded it to my local computer. I then selected it and told Home Assistant to fully recover from this snapshot. So what it did was it went for a little bit, took its time, uploaded the snapshot, then it was able to um, restore from that snapshot. After that, it took a little bit of time and af uh, said restore in progress. Um, about two to three minutes later, I got this. It presented me with my old login screen. What I was able to do was put in my old username and my old password to my old environment, you know, the one that was on the computer, set it up, hit login, and it was ready to go. It presented me with my old Lovelace dashboard. You'll see that some of the things aren't ready yet, so I let those get ready, took a little bit of time, took two to three minutes for the initial setup, and everything was, was good to go. And then I saw this. You'll see that Home Assistant has finished starting. That was an awesome, awesome feeling. So overall, that was the full setup experience for me. All I had to do was restore from an old snapshot and let it go, let Home Assistant do the rest. So if you are coming from an old system where you're on a NUC, an old computer, maybe you're on a Raspberry Pi, and you're converting to this new Home Assistant Blue, the process and setup is so easy. This took me probably max. 30 minutes, and that's including the unboxing, the setup of the Home Assistant, and then also booting it up, getting it ready, and having it, uh, you know, 
configure itself from the old restore. And then also included in that time was setting up Zigbee and my Y synth inside of the Home Assistant Blue. So overall, super simple to set up. I'm really happy that Home Assistant came out with this. Home Assistant Blue, it cost $140. It took six days to get here from Hard Kernel. Super quick. I didn't think it was going to get here until after the New Year's. Six days in COVID USPS. It came in DHL, but COVID shipping times, this is, that was amazing to me. Uh, Hard Kernel, thank you very much. Home Assistant, thank you very much. Nabu Kasa for setting all this up. Thank you very much. Um, one thing that keeps coming up in the Reddit forums and everything is uh, everybody wanting to know why Zigbee or Z-Wave wasn't included and also Wi-Fi. So first, why was Wi-Fi not included? Wi-Fi wasn't included because Home Assistant should not be on your Wi-Fi. Wi-Fi goes down a lot more than a local connection does. Now, for the Z-Wave and Zigbee, it's an aluminum case. The Z-Wave and Zigbee signals aren't actually going to work very well out of the aluminum case. So that is another reason that those weren't included, as well as Home Assistant doesn't make the hardware. It's up to uh, the hardware company that they partner partnered with to actually do that. So in the future, if they come out with one that has Z-Wave and Zigbee inside of it, then maybe Home Assistant can put their case around that as well and get that ready to go. But I asked them, it's not out of the question, but it is unlikely since the case is aluminum. My thoughts are, it's not needed. Go buy a Zigbee or Z-Wave stick or one that has both in it and you're good to go. It's actually better that way because if the Z-Wave or Zigbee either goes outdated or dies, then you don't have to buy a whole new uh, core system. You just have to buy the dongles. So my thoughts are, it's an awesome product. I'm super pumped that it came out. I've been wanting something like this for a long time. Again, thank you guys. Thank everybody. And don't forget to subscribe, like this video, and uh, comment down below what you think of Home Assistant Blue.